Welcome everyone to another Gotham Knights gameplay breakdown. Now it's been almost three weeks since the most recent gameplay demo, and the developers over at Warner Brothers Games Montreal did a Q&A answering a ton of questions they received from the community. They covered a lot, but I want to hone in on their answers regarding customization and the RPG aspects of the game. We've already focused on the action and the open world, so now let's break down the RPG elements of Gotham Knights. When it comes to customization, there's two major areas to focus on, your gear and your skill tree. Each plays a part in shaping your playstyle and which hero you may lean more towards when exploring Gotham City. Let's start things off with gear and hero customization. Taking a look at the menu on screen, we see sections for your hero's suit and their ranged and melee weapons. Each suit and weapon combo can be mixed and matched to fit your playstyle. Looking at the suits on hand, we see that the standard suit for Nightwing is far weaker than the ones below it, and suits have a rarity system such as Uncommon, Epic, and Legendary. Suits also have levels, just like the player does. This rarity and level system also seems to apply to your ranged and melee weapons too. It all falls under the umbrella of gear. As your hero levels up, it's likely the gear you find along the way will be of a proportional level as well. Many suits also allow for further customization with mod slots on the right hand side. Mods are basically just little benefits that can add to your overall skills. For example, if we take a look at this outfit I have equipped in Horizon Forbidden West, another action RPG just like Gotham Knights. We also have the option for mods, like the ability to do more fire damage or to have better defense. So if you're someone who wants better defense, find a suit that works for you and buff it even further with mod chips. Also, you're never tied down to wearing an ugly suit just because it's high level. Gotham Knights has a transmog system that allows you to mix any suit with any style. The game director summed it up best. Transmog gives you some flexibility if your favorite gear stats-wise doesn't have the look you want. Which is something I always appreciate. Personally, I'm probably going to play through the game with the Nightwatch suit style the entire time because I just love that classic look. It's nice to know I don't have to worry about the look of the suit and can just focus on the stats I want. Finally on the gear front, we have crafting materials. These materials will allow you to craft gear when you're back at the workbench, and we see that some material types are specific to one enemy faction, like the Court of Owls or the Regulators Gang, while other types can be earned across all enemies. Now as to be expected, each hero has their own unique skill trees for unlocking new upgrades. The developers have stated that there are three ability trees per hero, plus a knighthood tree you unlock later, and then the momentum abilities are a whole other thing. The momentum abilities the developers are referring to are most likely the special moves you see in the bottom right which allow for a whole litany of powerful attacks. This is another area in which you have the freedom to play your way. Where you put your ability points and what challenges you complete to get momentum abilities will really change how you play, especially at the start. So like I've said in previous videos, we may both play Nightwing the most, but how we play the hero may be very different depending on what skills or abilities you want to focus on. Finally, during the Q&A we were reminded that you can play as any knight whenever you want during the game. The developers have stated that they will never force you to play as a specific hero, but there are some optional missions that only certain characters can complete. Also, when it comes to co-op, if you join and complete story missions with a friend that you haven't gotten to yet, then when you return to your own game, you'll have the option to skip said missions once you reach them in the story. Gotham Knights is set for another showcase next week during Summer Games Fest, so hopefully we get more of a look at Robin's Combat or Batgirl's Traversal. I'm also going to be working on a general feedback video, but I want to see what they have to show first. Anyway, if you liked today's video, feel free to subscribe, but until next time, just be excellent to one another.